Hello. So, uh, as I understand it, today Brother have done something very interesting and they have given us the ability to download Canvas Workspace onto our computer. So I thought I would um, take you through that process, show you where it was, install it, and then take a look around. So the first thing we'll need to do is head over to the support center. So that's support.brother.com. And then it should take you to your default location. However, um, obviously you'll need to navigate if not. I'm obviously United Kingdom. So I want to find a download and I want it to be for the scan and cut machine. So that's cutting machine. It is one of the CM series machines, and I'm going to be working with the CM900. My computer has Windows 10, so I just press search. And we can now see that down where we first found our scan and cut type converter some time ago, there is now a download available for Canvas Workspace. If I just click on this more piece here, Canvas Workspace is an application that allows you to create and edit cutting or drawing pattern data and download that data to your cutting machine. So it's obviously on version one as it was released yesterday by the looks of this. And it doesn't take up much space on your computer. In fact, about in less space than the type converter, believe it or not. So I am going to click here, Canvas Workspace. It will then give me ideas if I need to check which Windows version it's um, compatible with. So that's Windows 7, 8.1 and Windows 10. Update history shouldn't be too big because obviously it's on version 1. And compatible, oh, compatible models, it's compatible with the CM300, 600, 700, 800 and 900. And this is obviously in the UK. So as usual, we'll obviously check through the end user license agreement, la, 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 like that, and agree to it. And then our download should start. So I want this to be in my uh, downloads folder. And I did actually create a specific folder for this. Somewhere down here. Ah, there it is. So I'm going to download it here, and this will then download. It's very quick, even though I'm using my mobile phone's internet connection. And this, we don't need to uncompress. It's actually already ready to install. So we click here. Obviously, if you're using a different browser, this may be slightly different, this next step. But there are installation instructions on the actual web page after you've agreed to the end user license agreement. But do have a read if you get stuck. And just to show you, they're here. All the way down here. It also tells us a bit about Canvas Workspace here. We can now save them on our computer as projects so that we can come back to them later. We can um, export FCM files. We can import FCM. And we can import SVG. So, okay. So this is obviously how to install it which I have just done and that's now finished and it says do I want to launch Brother Workspace? Yes please. And let's see, this is the first time I will have seen it so we shall have a look together. Ah, okay, now we're going to need our login IDs so that's the same one that we used on the internet version of this. Now can I remember my password? Now, looks like you will need to be connected to the internet in order to do this. Right, looks like I've forgotten my password, so I shall go through that process and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so it looks very clean and fresh. Our properties panel is over on this side, so whatever we do over here, um, we can obviously do all our changes over here. Uh, we have got properties over here. We've also got, ah, this is good. We've got X and Y positioning, so we can precisely position things. Good, nice work, brother. Uh, we've got angle flip. 
process overlap offset tool interesting layers good nice work they will come in handy and then artboard okay so this is obviously where we will be working with our mats ruler we can set to inches we can show the ruler or turn it off show. anyway sorry let's just start where we mean to begin right so we're in canvas workspace let's take a quick look through these menus new that will be for new project open obviously opening a project saving save as import svg or fcm and export or transfer the fcm file i'll have a look at those when i can okay so we've got various different menus down here we'll have a look at those in a while display units rulers okay this is all kind of making sense online quick start guide online video tutorials interesting links to the support page language settings account settings checking for updates interesting okay fine so over here we have got shapes we can open or close that window to give us more space to work with and they've been grouped by the looks of it so we've got things that are triangles all the different circular shapes ellipses hearts okay so they're all at what were called the basic shapes but they've obviously put them into nice little categories for us uh, in here we've also got the borders very familiar and then we've got the words so these are what used to be called logos they're now actually called words which makes complete sense next up we've got the text tools now it looks like we've got a contextual menu system up here so when we've turned on the shapes there's nothing up here but when we come on to text we can now select the different font uh, and it looks like it's all the fonts on my own computer which is awesome so we can now do this without using the type converter tool that's brilliant uh, we can choose bold or change the size and that kind of thing uh, oh well, this is character spacing i beg your pardon so we can put that up or down that's brilliant importing the svg looks like it's going to be very similar to what we've done before just importing image tracing we can now do in the computer choose an image file to be traced uh, da, da, da. some images may not be traced okay yeah that's fairly similar path tools as we've had before freehand or path so let's take a look at what happens when we load something on the mat right so we've brought on a square I'll just turn that off for now so we can get a bit of space on here um, so we're used to seeing these handles and working with those so they're nothing new we can set property lines at either cut or draw so that's a nice visual menu for us we can change the fill color so this used to be if you remember there used to be a pop out properties box which was something along the lines of this um, but now it looks like they're very easy to handle um, pop out little boxes for each of these uh, different things so as opposed to having to go into the properties and out of the properties we can now just click and load those up we can change the line width I'm not sure why at this point but we'll have a delve into that at the future and there we've got our different line styles as well so when we're designing we can do dashed lines um, okay so that's fine now what I would like to know is if anything has changed with things like the process overlap ah now we've got snapping available now to us the grid spacing sh this shape should now snap ah yes look at that so it's snapping exactly to the one inch marks which is perfect and we can change that grid spacing as well so we can set up and show exactly uh, or use exactly what we need to do we can obviously turn that mat um, border out off even uh, and we can even turn off the grid so we've got a nice clean space to work in but that one for me is a really nice addition to the whole um, canvas workspace thing now then one other thing to find that is our process overlap functions there they are now what's this line operation ah, cut to draw resize flip horizontal vertical process overlap okay 
So we've got the same four that we had before. We've got weld, divide, remove overlap or subtract, and the create offset line. Now this is interesting. This is a slightly new way of doing things. So we can actually visually see what's happening as opposed to the pop-up box that we had before where we could not see until we'd actually made the, the um, changes as we did before. Drop down menus, obviously to select which options we want each uh, for each thing. And we've still got that creating the offset line around the outer edge. So that's good. And the spacing we've got up here. So I'll do hopefully a series of videos showing all these new things in a while. Um, I'm actually away doing a workshop this particular weekend that I'm recording this. So they will have to come in the near future. Um, now, there were things over here, weren't there? So edit menu. So we can now precisely position where we want this to be which is perfect because when we're doing projects where we need to put score lines in exactly the right place that is what we need now transform flip angle align process overlap so all of those tools that i was just going through from the edit menu are available here as well uh, and there's a nice visual guide as to what the actual functions do and the offset tool now layers Layers are interesting because we can now visually move these around. So you know how before we had to right click and then do um, arrange center back, bring to front like this. We can now do it by clicking, dragging and dropping in here. We can even turn things off so that we can just see one particular shape and we can set them to be draw lines or cut lines in this area. So this for me again is more in line with the type of graphic design software that I use elsewhere and it's just brilliant okay artboard mm, yep okay so it's going to change it between the 12 by 12 or the 12 by 24 mat not breaking any boundaries there but as I said the snap to grid is awesome and the layers are awesome and what was the other one that I said was awesome Basically, it's a really nice little tool to work with. So it looks like everything's going to work very similarly to what it does with the online software, um, but obviously on a desktop version. Now, I'm assuming you will need to be connected to the internet to log into this um, and that any updates would automatically be done. What I'm going to do is just double check actual Canvas workspace online to see if anything has changed in there as well. And then I shall wrap this video up and we'll uh, regroup another week for some more on this. Ah, so there's another um, link to actually where you can download that. But what I'm going to do is just pop in here. Okay. So everything in here looks to be very similar. None of the additions in there, none of the snap to grid. So it looks like if you want the extra editing features that are in the um, installable version, you will need to do that. I don't know whether the actual online version is going to be updated, but this looks to be a good start for a PC based version. So there you have it, um, a few additional features on the PC installable version, which I love and I will definitely be making use of in the near future. Um, but for now, as you were, you're probably very familiar with what's on here. Um, but I will again come back and do a series of videos, hopefully on this in the very near future. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if that you found this useful. And of course, subscribe if you want to come back and see any more from me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter. Thanks for watching. See you next time.